Now let's talk about logic programming. So we, we know what they mean by functional programming. Let's talk about logic programming. Now in the functional programming, everything is in the form of function. In the logic programming, what we have is, we have some sort of logics. That logic is called knowledge base. What do you mean by knowledge base? Knowledge base is some sort of facts. So we have some sort of facts and based on the knowledge base, if we'll get some input, we'll, we'll see our knowledge base, we'll process it and we'll get some output based on that. So output may be in the form of Boolean, either true or false, or it's some sort of uh, value, okay? Uh, the value may be your uh, probabilistic value or discrete value. All right. <clears throat> Let's take an example of knowledge base. Let's say we have a knowledge like uh, these in these months of uh, October. What is the weather? So based on my knowledge base i have the knowledge base of let's say 10 years so in the past 10 year this is the weather means this is the temperature of of uh, let's say durgan bhalai and uh, when i'll give when i'll put the days on that with the temperature it will give me what will be the predicted weather of tomorrow so when we talk about the knowledge base, I have some sort of knowledge of previous years and based on the input, it will see my knowledge base and it will produce the output. Means let's say my input is, uh, uh, is, is today's uh, weather and based on that, I'll ask some query like tomorrow there is a rain or not. So based on the previous knowledge base, it will give me some, uh, some, it will not give me the discrete discrete value. It will not give me the value like it will say that yes, there is a there is a uh, rain tomorrow or there is not a rain tomorrow. Instead, it will give me some probabilistic value. Like it says that there are fifty percent chance of raining or fifty percent chance of precipitation. Right. So this is one type of knowledge base. Another type of knowledge base is, let's say uh, we have given knowledge to the child, like, like when you cross the road, you have to see left and right. And if there is no vehicle from the left as well as in the right, then only you can cross the road. So that knowledge base we have given to the child. What is the input to the child? Input to the child is, is the scenario what he or she see in the road? Is there any vehicle? If there is no vehicle, based on the knowledge base, it will say the output, whether it has to cross the road, it doesn't have to cross the road. If there is a vehicle, it will not cross the road. If there is, a, is, there is no vehicle, it will cross the road. So it is a Boolean type of output it will given. So the question is whether it has to cross the road true if there is no vehicle false if there is vehicle so i think you understand what we mean by knowledge base now logical programming is all about knowledge base so we'll create the knowledge base and based on the knowledge base the output will be produced by the system okay so the program that will achieve these type of thing which is called logical programming so what are the application of logical programming so in today's world in artificial intelligence machine learning robotics will use logical programming where we'll put some logic into the machine and based on that it will learn itself and it will produce the result Let's say uh, if we'll talk about the application of autonomous car, autonomous car, you know, like uh, 
the car without the driver so we'll put some knowledge base on that particular car like if if this this will be there then you have to do that if this will be there then you have to do that all those knowledge base will put and gradually it will update its knowledge base like a child so in the child mind we give some knowledge right and when that child grows up based on its experience it will increase its knowledge base what do you mean by increase its knowledge base means it will update its knowledge base and uh, into the fact that it has the knowledge of crossing the road it can cross let's say uh, the railway track it can cross let's say the river it can cross let's say so based on the same concept it will uh, do many things what i want to tell you is that is called logical programming and it is very much useful in artificial intelligence machine learning robotics and all those area of computation now let's talk about logical programming and try to understand more so all logical programming language can be generalized into a category of programming language called declarative language means first we'll declare something and based on the declaration we'll put the query and then it will give the result they share the same idea of analysis uh, computation the computation is satisfied by satisfying the property of correct answer so we have some sort of facts so facts are nothing but some answers and based on the answers we will we'll do the query and based on that it will do the processing and give me the output so the logic program can be interpreted using two main concept truth and logical deduction so let's see what do you mean by truth and what do you mean by logical deduction truth will give you the output as the boolean variable like true or false and logical deduction will give you the output as say the probabilistic value or some discrete value discrete value means some value probabilistic value means some another value let's say if we'll go to the doctor uh, for let's say some pain in my stomach so doctor what doctor will do is doctor will observe it and uh, give the conclusion based on his knowledge base that maybe there is some gas in my stomach or maybe there is the appendix in my stomach but it will be make sure based on some test so doctor will recommend the test based on my uh, symptoms and based on the symptoms and all its knowledge base it will come to a conclusion that is called logical deduction means it it will the system will give me the result based on the deduction on my knowledge base and truth is all based on also in my knowledge base but the value is true or false so the truth derived whether or not the computation is in the program is true under the implementation of the program symbol so we have some knowledge base we have some uh, previous facts and based on that it will find it out that whether the program is giving me the true output or false output. okay this is one thing in the uh, truth based logical programming in the logical deduction based programming what will happen is determine whether a logical clause is a consequence of the program or not means it is aligning with my query or it is aligning with my uh, my computation or not okay we will we'll see that in a very shortly and we'll try to understand with the help of some programs also so all logical programming language have exact operational meaning and most support the processing of finite set so we have some sort of finite set of facts let's say facts 1 facts 2 facts 3 up to facts n and based on these facts 
will find out the result and this result is based on some query. So we'll ask some query to the program based on the fact and it give me the result of the query based on the facts only. So these facts are nothing but knowledge base. The program themselves are instructions for execution by the compiler. These instructions are always interpreted as logic, logic statement. These instructions are always as a logical statement and clauses. And the result of the execution of the logical consequence of the computational on it. So we'll do some computation on it and we'll get the output. So generally these facts and the clauses are based on the first order logic or uh, the second order logic is called predicate logic. So my, you might have learned about the first order logic or the predicate logic or the um, logic calculus. Okay. And uh, it is all about that. We have some inference rule uh, based on that. We'll get some uh, knowledge. So the in the logical program using logical program and any other declarative language offers three main advantages. So what are those logical programming language are classified as high level language as they implement computation logic rather than uh, mechanism. They have a powerful pattern matching mechanism as well as good memory management stack or the pointer. These makes them, them uh, idle for expression, expressing complex idea and the algorithm. Now what happened, what it is saying that, it is saying that it is the logical programming language is a type of high level language uh, to get the output. But it is getting the output based on some pattern matching. And this pattern matching is done on the already having some knowledge base into the memory. Logical programming language allow data to be represented both uh, exponentially and uh, intentionally and intentional representation can also generate related representation for example adjacency list for easy access of the following data elements. These can be derived dynamically from the configured rule. So based on the different uh, configuration rule we derive some data and uh, we have some rules. So this logical program is also called rule based programming. Where we define some sort of rules and based on the rule, it will give me the output. Another advantage of logic programming language is that they are well suited for rapid interpretation of data structure and the code to implement very complicated idea. Due to their complex syntax and logical nature experienced program found the code simple to read and debug. From the programmer's point of view, the difficulty of coding is ambiguity in human thinking. Now here the concept of ambiguity comes uh, because different knowledge may Sorry, different logic may uh, may represent in such a way so that they can uh, make the ambiguous statement. Let's say we have the fact like sun is uh, rising from the east, and if we have some facts like sun is rising from the north, so both the statement will be contradicting to each other. So we have to make sure that uh, these contradictory uh, facts will not be added into the knowledge base. If you are doing that, uh, the compiler will get confused and will not give you the desired output what you want. However, the prologue coding is easier as the syntax and very short and the precise. So for the logical programming, we'll use the programming language called Prolog. 
this prolog programming language is very much uh, uh, useful to represent the logic programming okay So let's talk about this program, which is called uh, Prolog. Programs are written in the language of some logic. Execution of a logic program is a theorem. Providing execution of a logic program is a theorem providing processes. Uh, that is, computation is done by logic processes. Uh, here, actually what we have, we have uh, some logic processing and we'll use the representation of this logic program in the form of prolog the full form of program prolog is programming in logic pro is the initial of pro and logic log is the initial of logic that has been taken make one particular language which is called prolog language this particular prolog language will give give us uh, the opportunity to create logical programming. So what is a logic? A logic is a language that has syntax, semantic, more than the language, it has inference rule. So we'll talk about inference rule. Generally, we'll use the inference loan in first order logic or predicate logic. So we have syntax, the rule about how to form formulas. This is usually the easy part of the logic. So syntax is there. Then semantics is, there, is about meaning carried by the formula, mainly in terms of logical consequences. Then we have inference rule. It will describe correct way of deriving conclusions. So let's say we have clause A, which is one rule, clause B, another rule. We'll use some inference rule. Let's say uh, we'll use the intersection, we'll get some output. We have a clause A, we'll use some union of B, we'll get some output. We'll have A, we'll do some minus we'll, with uh, clause B, we'll get some output. Uh, we can use A, uh, and into B will get some output. So we have different rules. This is called inference rule and in the clause we will apply some inference rule to get the output. So generally we will see the, uh, the inference rule in the first order logic and predicate logic. Let's jump on into the prolog and we'll try to understand uh, the concept of prolog. So this is an example which we can represent using the prolog. Given information about fatherhood and motherhood, determine grandparent relationship. Now what is the information or what is the fact that we have is John is father of Lily. So who is John? John is the father of Lily. So father. John is a father, right? Kathy is the mother of Lily. Now, who is Kathy? Kathy is a mother of Lily. Now, Lily is a mother of Billy. Lily is a mother of Bill. Sorry, Bill. So, Lily is a mother of Bill. Now, Kane is the father of Karen. So there is a cane, which is a separate from these hierarchy and he is a father of Karen. So this is my knowledge, right? Now my query, now my query is who is the grandparent of Bill? Who is the grandparent of Bill? 
so bill has a mother lily so definitely john and kathy will be the grandparent grandparent of bill yes now who is the grandparent of karen so karen has a father ken but who is the child uh, means who is the father of can we don't know who is the mother of can we don't know so how we can know the karen of the grand grandparent of karen right this is a problem so it will not give you the output why because there is nothing to give you but the first query will give you the output it will give you what is a grandparent of bill definitely john may be the grand grandparent because he is a father of his mother and kathy is also the output because she is the mother of his mother Her, yes so bill has two grandparent now how we can represent it so this is my logic and how we can represent it using prolog so in the prolog we have to give fact like father john lily so how we can interpret interpret like john is a father of lily now how you can interpret this kathy is a mother of lily how you can interpret this lily is a mother of bill and how you can interpret this ken is a father of karen so this is the fact that i'll put in the prolog in the logic word like father mother are called predicate so what are what are what do you mean by predicate predicate is this this is my predicate property what is the property between john and the lily the property is john is a father of lily so what is father father is a predicate the statement like father john lily is called an atomic formula this is one formula called atom so we have four atoms here or you can say four truth or four facts now i express the grandparent relationship how we can express it the grandparent xy is a so this symbol is is a is a if statement so grandparent x z what is the meaning of that x is a grandparent of z if x is a parent of y and y is a parent of z so i think you understood it says that x is a grandparent of z if x is a parent of y and y is a parent of z so i think you understood now in this hierarchy you can say that z is a child who is the parent of z y and who is the parent of y x so what is the relation between z and x z is a grand child of x it means x is a grandparent of z so this is one fact second is what do you mean by parent parent is either you will be mother or the father so x is a father of y or x is a mother of y in both the cases we can say that x is a parent of y and y is a parent of sorry x is a parent of y these are uh, uh, there are these are called conditional statement so th these are all conditional statement why we have used if x is a parent of y if x is a father of y second statement says that x is a parent of y if x is a mother of y so either it will be a mother or it will be a father both are called parent right capital letter denote variable meaning for any for any right for any x x is a parent of any y the formula uh, to the above is for any x y and z if x is a parent of y y is a parent of z 
then x is a grandparent of z so the first statement can be read by this statement okay so we'll put together in the prolog program how we can put together we can put together with these all these uh, statement it says that grandparent xz parent xy parent xy then we'll write all these things and then we'll put some queries what is my first query the my first query is grandparent john bill is it true or false john is a grandparent of bill john is again grandparent of bill the answer is yes it is a grandparent of bill if you'll see this query you'll find out that that we have a john and we have kathy both are the parent and who is the child child is lily and who is the child of lily is bill so you can see this hierarchy based on that what is the relation between john and bill can we say both are uh, the john is the grandparent john is a grandparent of bill so the answer is yes yes is a grandparent now another query is there here it says that any variable is a grandparent of karen so who is karen karen is here so can we find out the karen of uh, the the grandparent of karen so because it's it is a separate one and says that can is the father of karen but it doesn't define that who is the parent of kane this is not defined so if it is not defined so how we can know that so it will give me the output no another query is there can we find out the grandparent of bill so who is the grandparent of bill here the grandparent of bill is john as well as kathy so output may be john or kathy okay so let's do that and this will be our will be our last uh, last thing okay so i am using an online uh, uh, compiler for this so what is my query query is this okay so what i am doing is i'm just removing and i am putting all the facts here so these are all facts grandparent xy parent father mother all these things are here okay now what is my first query my first query says that based on all these facts mm -hmm. can you tell that john is a grandparent of bill so where we'll write the query we'll write the query here so can we say that let's see okay uh okay so there is some uh, says that there is some issue in the logic
Yes. So because the last one has doesn't have any grandparent, uh, so I have removed that. It says that John is a father of Lily. You can see that John is a father of Lily. Kathy is the mother of Lily, and Lily is a mother of Bill. So the first query is what I have put it here is you can see here. Can we say that John is a grandparent of Bill? So the answer is true. Yes. Now, can we find out the grandparent of Bill? So I'll use some variable here. This variable should be evaluated. So let's run this. My answer is John. You can see that 